1889 Liberty Head Eagle. Surface anomalies reveal the true nature of this imposter. With a mintage of over 1.2 million, 1899 Eagles, gold $10, struck in Philadelphia carry a little numismatic premium outside the highest grades today. A counterfeiter is more likely to target the 1899O with a mintage of only 37,000, or perhaps the 1899S, 841,000 struck. But even a common gold coin like the 1889 Eagle is sometimes forged. Graders encountered this spurious eagle in a submission from a respected dealer. The coin has the correct weight and is struck in gold, which deepens the mystery of why a counterfeiter would target it. It's possible the coin was struck to disguise gold bullion as a U.S. Mint issue, thereby circumventing the U.S. ban on hoarding gold from 1933 to 1974. Forger's intention, then they would not have cared about profiting from the numismatic value by replicating a particular date slash mint mark rarity. A closer look reveals that the details on the fake are a tad softer and more round than those of a genuine example. Still, overall the counterfeit's quality is quite good. The reason is because this highly deceptive transfer die counterfeit which uses a real coin as the basis for dies employed to strike fakes. Tool marks, a common trait on forgeries, appear in front of Liberty's mouth and near America. The transfer die process can leave defects on the dies. For instance, a large depression on the counterfeit's reverse is visible between the C and the A in America. This flaw was present on the reverse die and will be repeated at every coin struck from it. Collectors want to know that all their coins are genuine, regardless of how rare or common the date. Luckily, NGC backs its determination of authenticity and grade with the NGC guarantee.